Hey guys and welcome back for another video. And today I'm going to show you how to build an automatic furnace. So there is a lot of fuel needed and a lot of furnaces and a lot of chests. So basically how this works is, let's start here. The first chest goes into the first hoppers, which then goes into furnaces. And as you can see, I wrote on the sign, furnace input. And you can put logs and all those sorts of stuff in the furnace. Then at the back of the furnace is fuel. And as you can see, there is a lot of blocks of coal. And then at the bottom is hoppers that will lead into this chest, which is the output chest. Here we have the bars per furnace input. Goes into hoppers and after it gets smelted, it goes into the output and same for the smoker. And this one has two furnaces because it is for cobblestone only and it will turn the cobblestone into stone and then it will turn the stone into smooth stone. And then as you can see at the back here are all the fuel. So now let's take this up to the test by actually using it. So let's get some logs. Some ores. Let's also get some beef. Now let's get the mutton. And potatoes. And now let's see, will this work? Oops, I forgot the cobblestone. Stone. Here we go. First, let's put all of these into the black furnace. As you can see, these go down and it goes into these. Put some food into the smoker. Put some logs. And in here, let's put some cobblestone. And as you can see, this is slowly filling up. As you can see here, it's been smelted, smelted, bit slower here, and up here, these things are stone, stone gets turned into smooth stone. Then it goes into copper, I mean, yeah, and then it goes into the chest. And it's very really useful, very easy to make, and you don't even need to touch it. All you do is to touch the input, and that's all. As you can see here, it's running down. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.